Yo, what's up? It's Nasroom, and I'm playing with the Ultimate Cross Path mod again, meaning we can get the fifth tiers on each path all in one tower. Now, I did just use the Druid, which was actually insane, and for beating round 100, we got a boomerang as the insta. So I figured we should start with this one, and I chose four circles because the boomerang throws his rang in a circle pattern, so I felt like four circles kind of fit that theme. And we have enough capital, so we can go ahead and start off with them. What do we put him like right here in the center? Is that a good spot, or should I try to match the arc a little more? I feel like if I put him like right here, it would kind of null his effect, because then he can't get all all this popping power from here and here and here i'm gonna stick with right here now i'm actually not sure how expensive his upgrades are let me take a look real quick Thirty-eight thousand, not bad Forty-two thousand, that's a little up there and sixty thousand. oh okay so we do need to do a bit of farming for this guy i do have geraldo here i was gonna get his totem but y'all already know i usually go for his totem and don't end up actually getting it so i don't know what i'll do there for the early camel detection though ooh, you know what i just might do i might just put geraldo down just to get his camel popping powers or i could put like a little monkey power here i'd rather not i'd rather use geraldo are we leaking already we're almost leaking i do have the monkey knowledge to make him loop back multiple times uh oh let's switch up his hand i think that'll be better right yeah that one feels better for some reason because when they go this way then his arm We'll shoot him that way that's nice that's nice all right cool let's put a uh, geraldo i want to put him out of the way here top left corner and can i get his totem oh i'm a little off i really do want to get his totem here i'll slow down here bam oh, okay cool i think i'll put it down right as the price increased though so it used up all of our capital but we almost missed it all right let's start upgrading this guy now i got him for the both the totem and for camo oh are we gonna leak this we can eat this all right yeah we can eat it all right so we're already leaking right so we do need to up this guy like asap what should we get i'll get improved ranks i think that's gonna be good and then next i will get faster throwing because it's also pretty cheap yeah it looks like the improved ranks is needed otherwise we would have lost here let's go faster throwing and should we get hot rings next that way it has dual pops up multiple layers yeah we're still leaking a little bit with these yellows maybe we need even faster rings how much is that 300 we got it now we shoot even faster so we should definitely hit those yellows yeah he's hitting them all now uh maybe not one or two. Oh, these are pinks hold up slow this down slow this down do we get more pierce for a long range we might it might be a hidden effect i'm gonna go glaives instead here oh yeah i like glaives we're going a normal path as you can see i've named him tron legacy if you all have any better names than this then let me know in the comments because i really had no idea what to name them all right let's go ahead let's get red hot rings here so they turn back to banana rings but i'm assuming they still have the power of glaives you know what somebody also said in the comments that you can sort of tell how good a tower is going to do if all of their paths like work well together or if they all add damage to the main attack if they all do different things then it might not really work out well like the glue oh shoot let's get this cam up shoot oh shoot there we go i almost missed the camel man the camels always get me down bad remind me round 33 we need camel attack because this thing might run out by then as i was saying somebody did let me know that if the upgrades all add like damage to the main attack then it's usually going to be a powerful tower towards the end game and that actually sounds about right because if they all do different things like the glue gunner the glue gunner all had different types of glue then they don't mesh well with one another but we should be good here let's go for glaive ricochet because that's one of my favorites glaive ricochet was faster ranks and red hot that sounds like a force to be reckoned with oh wait we should farm man what's your farm what am i doing i always forget to farm man i'm always so fascinated with a tower that i forget to farm oh dude look at this look at this perfect symmetrical circle here it's beautiful we're actually leaking a little bit though hold up we're about to be leaking let's go bionic there we go we shouldn't have any more problems anytime soon and that honestly should take it down the moab oh we do have camel for 33 cool i'm glad because i totally forgot those balloons would have been like all the way right here about an exit i don't know if there's any more camo so i'm just gonna throw another one on him just in case <laughs> i don't know dude i'd rather be safe than sorry right and he should be good as is to pop this moab I'm fairly confident he can pop it as is. Yep, here's the more camos. Alrighty, do we have enough? We do. Banana plantation. Geraldo has something new in his shop, but I don't want to use any of Geraldo's buffs because I don't think we even can. Well, we can, but like it's not going to do us much good. Early on, it will, but I'd like to see how he does on his own without any buffs. All right, let's see how he handles this Moab here. Hopefully, he does, right? You handle that? Ooh, that's not great damage here. Let's get more glaives. There we go. I think if we didn't have the more glaives, he might have been able to do it, but I think some of them would have hit this. So now we farm. And I also want to go marketplace here. It's a good one. Dude, I like how this matches perfectly here still. It's so nice to see. I think we should save up to get the bottom path because he is missing a bit of Moab damage. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Die. So, all right, what we're getting is a village. Never mind, we're getting the camo village. We'll pop the camo village right here in between these two. And we will go that and that, because we almost lost. I told you guys, camo was always my problem. Whenever the tower can't see camo in itself, it's always a problem for me. I know the top path can see camos. Oh, we really don't have great ceram damage to fortified cerams. If we get rushed with those, we might lose. But we should have a fifth tier up before we get rushed by a lot. All right, let's go Kylie Booper Ring and Moab Press. So they still ricochet. Now they're boomerangs that ricochet that actually sounds kind of op but we'll have to see we struggle with fortified cerams i guess i could get the ability in tech bottom because that's 
that's not really a buff using the tech bot, right? Or maybe I should cast the ability manually for now. Let's see this damage here. Yeah, great mob damage. We just need more Saram damage. We also have this. What should I sell this totem for? Something here or for a fifth tier? I'm waiting to get this top path here because once we get this top path, that's a lot of income. And we will need a fifth tier for round 63. I'm confident we can handle 60 for sure. All right, here we go. We have enough, right? Yeah, there we go. Banana research. All righty, now the big boy question. What path should we go down first? Should we get Turbo Charge, Moab Dom, or Glaive Lord? I think Glaive Lord would be really good here. Turbo Charge would help us out in the rounds we kind of struggle on. But if we struggle on one round, we'll probably have to struggle on the next and we might not have the ability up. So I'm going to go ahead and save up for our top path. All righty, we should have enough, right? Yep, Glaive Lord. There we go. Oh, perfect. The Glaive's hit all the way right here. I think this was a really good map to use here. He should crush this easily, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a lot of damage. Because not only is he getting hit by the Moab Dom from the bottom, but he's also getting that top path's extra Moab damage. I'm glad they added that in, dude. It's a lot more damage. Let's go ahead and go Central Marker here. And now we really don't have to worry about income for a while. But we don't really have to worry about damage either. Round 63 handles like a champ. Barely see the balloons get by. Someone also told me instead of going Mucky Wall Street, I should go Banana Central. Because Mucky Wall Street only gives you an extra 4k per round. Whereas Banana Central will buff like all of these. I don't think we can use Geraldo's. Yeah, we can't use his fertilizer. I always try it out just in case. I don't really want to use anything else in a shop here either. But I can actually sell Geraldo. Goodbye, Mr. G. Your services are no longer needed. This guy is chilling. How much do we have here? 36? Yeah. Remind me when this gets to like 50,000. We'll sell them and we'll buy the top path here. Or when the totals get to 120,000. This guy's actually performing very well right here. I kind of want to make some early predictions. He's easily getting past round 100 for sure. He just has so much damage on him. The middle path plus the bottom path is going to be a lot of damage on him. And then the top path is really good for cleaning up any Cerams. And it also has decent Moab damage as well once it gets multiple hits on him. But he will easily get multiple hits hits now that he's always going to be permacharged so it all works out this guy actually might be pretty cracked we might be seeing some druid level of rounds i'm going to actually put him near the druid the real question will be is this guy stronger than his paragon counterpart which we'll have to say for another video oh wait shoot we have enough capital let's sell it 50,000. Perfect. Cool. Sell that and let's get Banana Central. And we almost have enough for Monkey Wall Street. Yeah, literally two more rounds and we get Monkey Wall Street. But still, I'll go ahead and get Turbo Charge just so we can have it. And which one do I want? I'm going to hold off until we get to past 80. Once we get past 80, I think I will go Perma Charge. Perma Charge for that extra damage for the Super Cerams. But I want to see how he is for the Super Cerams first. Although, if he does have great Ceram damage, then maybe it might be Moab damage we might need after 80. How does this thing do against the ZOMG? How far will this thing get? It's already taking heavy damage. Is it going to make it around this loop here? Should get all the way right here, right? Or not even past this part. So that is a lot of damage on him. Remember, he's a 544. And we still got a lot more beefy upgrades here. We're not even using the turbo charge. And then this thing perma charges it. So it's going to be even turboed on top of this turbo. That's not even turboed yet. And it's not even dominating the Moabs as much as it can. Now we got a long way to go, man. Super Cerams, you can see. Yeah, they're getting a little far here. Watch. Yeah, Super Cerams are getting kind of fast. Let's go ahead and go perma charge here. Easily handle Super Cerams now. Easily. His sprite change as well. You know what? I'm curious. I'm going to put one back here real quick. Does the sprite change based on which one you get last, which fifty you get last? So if I were to get this guy first and then this guy, would it change to this? No, okay, okay. It's all the same. I just wanted to try it out real quick and see. Oh my god, look at that, dude. It's so fast, it looks like it's staying still. And this farm is going crazy as well, man. One solid beam of flaming rings with the swirling swirl of ore of blades around them. Yeah, I feel like I said way more words there than I should have. But you get the idea. It's an aura of glaives. See this DDT popping power. And we don't even see the DDTs. E to the Z. I'm liking this guy a lot so far. His paths are very compatible with one another. Which is what I'm really looking for in these towers. I want to see how round 94 is. Because that is a heavier balloon round. I want to see how this one does as is. And then I'm going to get the bottom path for 98. We'll compare the two. And after we compare the two, then I'll make more accurate predictions. Right now, my prediction is he can make it to 140. And then with buffs. Oh, dude, with buffs, I think... Think he's gonna get high up there probably in the 180s i need to see his bad damage first oh wait i totally missed round 94 i wasn't paying attention so he must have been doing so well that i completely missed it all right here's round 98 let me see for 98 let me pay attention here yeah this is a oh my okay <laughs> wait hey, he has a lot of damage i'm actually paying attention now this is a lot of damage all right let's get this upgrade for this bad let's get moab dom here let's see this bad damage here Oh my, okay, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Now, people said they wanted to see the bomb shooter next, but this darling gun might actually be cracked. 
I have to see. I'll surprise you guys with what I do next. Let us keep going because we're just getting started here. So it handled that bad before it even made it past this first curve, which is a very good sign. Now, I guess the one thing that might get this guy down bad is DDTs. I think DDTs are going to be like really fast and kind of like zoom by this part, but he does have his Moab Dom ability, which kind of heat seeks onto them. I'm going to go ahead and put a tech bot though. I am going to go AFK. I'll put the tech bot here, put that on him because we don't know how long this thing's going to last. You know, sometimes these guys go on for like a whole nother hour after we get into free play. So you never know. I still think 140. 140 is usually that round where the fortified bad just has so much health. It's hard to nick that down in time. So I'm going to stick with 140 here. 140 without buffs and then with buffs, I'm thinking like 180 or something, but we'll have to see. Time to go AFK and see for ourselves. Hey, and I caught the last second of that. A DDT made it to slip by on round 169. One DDT. Definitely if I slowed it down, it would definitely be able to beat it, but we could also buff him. And I think we all know what we really want to see here. So to start off, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy all the way up. I'll go all the way. Yeah, he's a primary, so he gets that benefit as well. And we'll go this just because. We also need an engineer, which I'll slap down. I'll slap him down right here path and in the other pool we will have our top path sub here give everyone a reduced cooldowns and i believe that's everything i need right i have the village i have the engineer oh a perma how could i forget the perma right underneath he's managing the farm here get that perma brew up and we need some tech bots i'll join the tech bots over here defending the castle we'll set him for the castle another tech bot for the engineer and we should be able to go ahead and play take this ability Cast it on him. And now I think everyone's good to go, right? Yeah, he's tech botted. He's tech botted. Let's fast forward. He actually has great bad damage. He made it way farther than I thought. I first guessed 140, right? I actually slowed it down on 140 just to see if he would lose there. And he beat it. He beat it with the bad getting to like right here by where the sub is. So now that he has buffs, I think he's got like another 30 rounds in him. Because that bad still kind of got a little far for him just now getting buffs. Normally, they'd stay all the way back here. But I don't know if all of his buffs are up at once. Yeah, when they're all up at once, everything just gets deleted and nothing gets past his first bat. So I'm not sure. It also looks really cool, dude. When you got balloons like all the way around the track, the boomerangs actually bounce. So he'll do more damage if the bat's like all the way out here out of range. But then there's more balloons coming here. The rings will bounce from this one to the bat that's over here. Or any other blue that's over here. Like here, like so. Which is a lot of damage. And it looks really cool. This is probably my least favorite sprite on him i don't like the way the middle path looks oh that was weird we saw regular boomerangs go around yeah look at that <laughs> it's rotating between regular boomerangs and glaives that's also kind of weird but i don't really like the middle path sprite i think the top path looks the coolest i wish it had the top paths look at that it's, it's purple yeah when he's turbocharged i think it's purple i think he has 100 uptime on this maybe almost it's very fast and the cooldown is also very short but i think he has like another 20 30 rounds in him i think like 190 something maybe like 195 if not 195 then definitely 200 right because the blue just ramp up so much 200 is another fortified it'll be hard to get past that one but like always we'll have to see i'll catch you guys then Alrighty, round 200 is right around the corner and these bad balloons are moving fast. DDT's even faster, but the DDT's get knocked back by the bottom path, so we're fine there. It's just fortified bad balloon I'm really worried about. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Yeah, this guy is moving fast. He has double the health of what we've seen before. Oh, we need a tick of damage already, man. Yeah, we're just now getting our first tick of damage. It is not looking good. Oh, there's two? Oh, man. Oh, wait, this one already has... Wait a minute. Wait, does he get more damage the more balloons are on screen? Wait, 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 wait. He was doing so bad until this one popped out. No pun intended. What? Oh my goodness, man. And he's got the perma stun on the ZOMGs. Actually pushing them back through the track. Oh my god. And we get a 302 druid. We just did the druid. But as for this, it seems like it's got a lot more rounds to go. Oh, wait, there's another bad. Maybe this is it. There's also multiple balloons. And I think this thing does more damage the longer he's hitting them. Because he also has these little white slash marks too. So I think that also does stacking damage. That might be what it is, right? Oh, wait, this one's actually getting really far. This might be it, actually. This might be it. 201 might be it. It's about to pop really late here. It is leaving the map. And oh, those DDTs, man. We had the game slowed down too, so there's no excuses there. But still, round 201 on the boomerang, man. I honestly think this thing might outperform a Paragon. I will definitely have to do a comparison video. We'll put them side by side. See how well they capture this tower's power. But as for the looks, it looks pretty mid, not gonna lie, but it performs really well. 253,000 pops, round 201. That's something to be proud of. So I definitely say the only thing that would make this better is if it looked like the top path way more than the middle path, then that would make it look exponentially better i think that would approve my rating for it damage wise he does good looks wise he's mid but i mean hey you never know with these 555s all you have to do is try them out and see how they are for yourself 